Emiradu Konu missed Wimbledon this year due to wrist injury, but that hasn't prevented her from enjoying her summer to the fullest. The 20-year-old US Open winner gave her 2.5 million Instagram followers a peek at her beautiful trip to Greece. In one photo, a beaming Emma is seen sipping a beverage in a chic kitchen. In another, she is seen sitting on a rock and gazing out at the water while wearing a blue bikini top and white shorts. The series of getaway images also includes an unnamed person sporting an Evian bucket hat. The photo's caption, written by the tennis legend, read, Quick breather in Hellas, fire in the belly to go now. It happens after Carlo Agostinelli, 22, who is reported to be Emma's romantic interest, accompanied her lately when she went to Whole Foods in Kensington for lunch. The diva chose to wear Bach's fresh white shoes, linen shorts and a felt cardigan to look casually cool as she dug into some chicken from the upscale supermarket salad bar. Carlo, a former Harrowhead boy and the son of a rich banker, chose an outfit consisting of off-white chinos, blue loafers, and a striped shirt for a traditional, stylish appearance. As he carried bags of goods from the shop and his phone, the Stanford grad appeared happy to be out with Emma. Robert Argostinelli, 70, an American private equity billionaire who now resides in London and was a former Goldman Sachs banker who attempted to acquire Liverpool FC in the past, is the jet-setting father of Mr. Agostinelli. His mother works for Dior in Paris as the head of public relations. Global fashion and beauty ambassador for Dior, Ms. Rudu Konu gets compensated. The pair is thought to have met because of this link. She has also been spotted visiting his £2 million Kensington property. In May, the two of them shared photos of themselves having fun together in Mexico City. Only two years ago, she was an unnoticed youngster finishing her A-levels at her Orpington, South East London, school. But only a few weeks after putting her textbooks away, she brought life to Covid-ravaged Britain by making it to Wimbledon Final 16. She later withdrew from the competition after seeking medical care. She then sensationally won the US Open two months later, earning £2 million in the process, making her a national athletic hero. Rich sponsorships poured in from companies like Dior, Porsche and British Airways. She has since fallen significantly from the top 10 of last year to 128th in the globe. She won't be able to play again until September while she heals from three surgeries. She is the best paid tennis player in Britain despite not competing at Wimbledon. She earned an estimated £134,000 from sponsorship deals in one week, making her total earnings for the competition a whopping £402,000.